Like many other grass-to-gray stories, Brie Larson has a lot to tell when it comes to her upbringing, and you won't believe that some of her terrible experiences motivated a few of her most successful acting roles. From the age of six, she already knew what she wanted to do as she told her mom she was meant to be acting. Actually, Brie's career as an entertainer had a brief good start at the age of seven, as she was featured in a television commercial for Malibu Mudslide Barbie. Also, she was introduced to drama classes really soon, and was the youngest student to go to the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco. For a young girl who was gradually making her way into the competitive world of entertainment, things soon took a different turn. Her father filed for divorce and left the mom with Brie and her sister Melaine. At the time, she didn't understand what was happening, especially with how the parents first separated. So Brie, her mom, and her sister had to move from their house in Sacramento to Los Angeles. At the time, she thought the move was to explore her acting career in LA. It was only later that she discovered that the reason for moving had more to do with the troubles her parents were having. Due to the divorce, the mother had to move into a smaller apartment to care for both girls. And Brie described the experience saying, we lived in a studio apartment with just a room and a bed that came out of the wall and my mom couldn't afford even a Happy Meal. I had no toys and I had like two shirts, a pair of jeans, and that was it. The emotional impact of her dad, Sylvain, leaving their mother was so huge on all of them and Brie had to see and grow with all of these painful things as a child. She revealed that her mom, Heather, would always cry herself to bed and still try to hide it from them by holding her mouth to sob quietly so as not to alert the kids. While everything was happening, Brie mentioned that she tried to give Sylvain the benefit of the doubt but failed. She said, when legally I didn't have to have visitation with him anymore, I jumped on it. As a kid, I tried to understand him and understand the situation, but he didn't do himself any favors. I don't think he ever really wanted to be a parent. However, despite how terrible her home conditions were growing up, she never gave up on her dreams. And her mom made sure to keep taking her to auditions. She started to get some minor roles as she appeared on popular and touched by an angel. Gradually, she moved to having a recurring part on the sitcom Raising Dad. Then, through her teenage years, she also featured in a few other roles. But at the age of 16, she tried music. She released an album called Finally Out of P.E. while remembering her little venture into music. Brie sounded so proud when she said, I haven't done music in 10 years, but if you Google my name, my music video is one of the first things that pops up. It's this weird story that keeps coming back. Then, when she got to her 20s, she also got some pretty decent roles in projects projects like the United States of Terra and a few others. With how consistent she stayed through acting, you might want to think she didn't have it so bad, but she did. Brie never got her big break during her teenage years through her early 20s, even though she was working hard at it, and that's because they wouldn't give her the lead roles. According to Brie, she never totally fit into a package that filmmakers could use. She said, I wasn't pretty enough to play the popular girl, I wasn't mousy enough to be the mousy girl, so I never fit in. Then, it got even worse for her because men started to make inappropriate comments to her whenever she went for an audition, and she honestly believed at the time that male actors had more advantages in landing a role than females. She explained that since she started growing up as a young adult, she's gotten some very disrespectful comments on how she should dress and expose some skin to look more attractive. Brie even revealed that there was a particular short denim skirt and crop top she was always forced to wear before she could get some roles. She also added that she wasn't looking plain enough to be considered a nerd, and then her entire career as an actress became confusing to her. Her experience with not fitting in was so crazy as she mentioned the lengths she went to get roles, saying, I had this anger about having to show up to auditions in heels and a mini skirt, and then I heard guys saying, well, we have to take our shirts off. What was even more painful to her was that she witnessed other people comfortably getting roles because they fit into the narrative and dress up like the filmmakers wanted. Brie said, the script would call for the punk girl or whatever these ridiculous cliches were, but I had never met anybody like these two-dimensional characters. She also added that even her agent never believed in her as she was told to calm down till she could fit into all the stereotypical characters. At the time, Brie just thought she had had enough of acting, but still, she fought the urge to quit and kept trying. On many occasions, she would be disappointed as feedback like she looked too happy, too energetic, and sarcastic to fit into the character was used in cutting her off. She discussed how challenging these auditions were for her when she said, the smallest fraction of a thing gets you cut. And if you have any sort of sense, you realize how impossible the situation is. Sometimes after getting knocked down a million times, you think, oh my God, I'm done. Then she finally got tired of showing up and being ignored and tried her hand 
at directing movies. She directed two, but there were limitations with financial resources to push things forward, so that barely worked out for her as well. However, the surprising and slow turn to getting successful results started to happen in 2013. Her acting skills in Short Term 12 caught people's attention during auditions. It was even this particular film that made her get noticed by the director of Room Lenny Abrahamson, and it was Room that finally gave Brie her big break and even got her the Oscars. While speaking on what made Brie stand out through her part in Short Term 12, Abrahamson said she doesn't do that showy intensity thing that we overpraise in film actors. There's just this truthfulness about her and a delicacy to what she does. Also, the author of Room, Emma Donahue, mentioned that Brie made quite an impression on her, especially after viewing her audition tape. According to Emma, the role of Ma in Room was a very competitive one that many popular actresses like Emma Watson wanted to play. However, the author watched the audition tapes and was shocked to see how perfectly Brie acted with an imaginary boy in the tape. Although Brie already read the book in 2013 and was very prepared to play Ma, Emma just knew at that instant that the perfect person for the part is Brie. Interestingly, the actress didn't stop working hard for the role as she made sure to lose 15 pounds before filming began in 2014 so that she could look like the suffering hostage who her character was. Her character Ma was held captive, which also meant she had no access to sunlight, and Brie deprived her skin of the sun so she could look pale and genuine for the role. Another important factor Actor that went into her popular room role was the fact that her horrible childhood experience helped her to really be in that mental space where Ma was. She said, suddenly I was able to, in some ways, relive my childhood from my mom's perspective and see how she loved and protected me in ways I never noticed. For me, room is an opportunity to relive an aspect of my childhood that I hadn't put a ton of thought into. Growing up, Brie didn't only hate her father for the divorce, she also felt her mother didn't do enough for her until she started to see more reasons why. While acting in Room, it became clearer to her, and she tried to apologize over and over again to her mother for misunderstanding how things really went during her childhood. But despite how bad the experience was, it made her know how to play Ma in Room. And for that, she dedicated her Oscars to her mother while ignoring her father as she revealed they've not been on speaking terms for 10 years. However, her dad denied that they've not spoken in 10 years and supported her during her nomination for the Oscars. Soon after after featuring in Room, she got one of the lead roles in Kong Skull Island as Mason Weaver. From there, she became a major part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as she portrayed Carol Danvers in Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, Quantum Encounter, and numerous other projects. So she's been very busy and even had to reject many roles due to how highly demanded she is now in Hollywood. The actress also recently played the main character in Lessons in Chemistry, which has been described as her first major exciting TV show for viewers aside from her MCU role, but that's not all, as Brie has bigger projects lined up for her, and she's very thankful to have gone from nothing to a Hollywood star. Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.